Hello everyone, welcome back to The Book Brood. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Two Night Owl from Dogfish by Holly Goldberg Sloan and Meg Wolitzer. This is a book I have read twice now, once by myself and once to my children, and I absolutely love this queer middle grade story. It is a story about Avery Bloom, who is a nervous girl from New York, 12 year old, and Bet Devlin, who is a daredevil who loves animals, and she's from California. They're both 12 years old, and they're both being raised by single gay dads. And one day they find out that their dads are dating, and they, they don't like this, and so they try and interfere. But in order to interfere, they have to team up and work together. And throughout the process, they become friends and they are getting used to the idea of maybe being part of a family together. This is a story very much inspired by The Parent Trap. And I love the modern um, edition of queer representation and showing how families come in all different shapes and sizes and found family is just as important as biological family. So just like The Parent Trap, there is summer camp elements to this. This spans over a year of time, so you actually see two different summer camps. And it also has the two girls, at first they're enemies, and then they're friends, and then they're like as close as sisters. This book is told entirely through email and letters, and I think that was a really interesting way to tell the story. I think it really worked for this story. You get to hear uh, the, the two girls talking back and forth, scheming, asking random questions. So sometimes it's in the middle of the night and they're just emailing random questions or concerns that they have. Avery is a very nervous child who Googles everything, is terrified of all sorts of things and will throw out random statistics about like how dangerous certain things are. We also listened to this on audiobook, which was fantastic. It was a full cast. Each character had their own voice, their own storyline, and it was such a blast to listen to. So I highly recommend this for anyone who is looking for more queer middle grade or who enjoys queer middle grade. I personally love Queer Middle Grade and need to make a recommendations video of all of the different wonderful books I've read, but this definitely is high on that list. Thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!